I just want to take a couple of minutes, maybe less, to give some explanations on the use of Bagua because people think it's very difficult and confusing and there are some sophistications and complications and subtleties and so on but there are some things which are really pretty important which is simple. So what we find in Bagua, we find this circle a lot, this circle and then we find this circle a lot, this circle. So what are they for? Because when you see this you go, that's not a martial art, that's just waving your hands around. But the idea basically is that you can use the circles in a lot of different ways. You can use little circles, big circles, fast circles, you can flatten them out, they become spirals and so on. I'm lucky today because I have Air One to help me show some of these things. So let's go with this little circle. Typically, like small circle, oh I can do this kind of thing with it. So if it's a small circle I use, I've trained to use my body, oh I can use that and then you know you can turn it into various kinds of chin art. Boom. But equally, this circle, what if I turn it into this? So here, yeah. here, okay, now I'm hitting with it. But if I'm closer up, same circle. Whee! It starts becoming a throw. And if I'm on the other side, whoop, same circle. It starts becoming a throw. Same thing. And then with the other side, equally, it takes me off oh, this direction. All right. That becomes hard to hold on to. But equally, that becomes this direction, boom, it hit. Or if I do it twice, there, so it's contact, go. And then this direction, now it's beginning a throw. So there you go, some very simple concrete ideas on how to use the circles of Barbara before the rain arrives. Too late, but you get the point. <laughs>